understand others' feelings, respect others' feelings as well. This person really wants to chase you and want to start out. But if you have someone else in your life, you know, the imagination and fantasy kind of connection, this person is spying on you, this person is collecting information, this person easily melt if you know, shed some tears. A whole complete package of kindness, love, generosity, you depression and anxiety in you. Hi Scapio, welcome back to my channel Club Stories. Today I'm gonna do your online psychic love reading for the month of uh, July. Keep in mind that these readings are general. This may be resonant with you or maybe not resonate with each and every one of you. If it resonates with you, take guidance from these readings. And if it not resonate with you, you can simply ignore it. Let's get started. What are the Scorpio person's feeling, thinking and intentions towards Scorpio? What are the Scorpio person's feeling, thinking and intentions towards Scorpio? What are the Scorpio person's feeling, thinking and intentions towards Scorpio? And we are having here Queen of Pentacles, Simon of Wands, the Moon, Chariot. What are the Scorpions feeling, thinking and intentions toward this person? What are the Scorpions feeling, thinking and intentions toward this person? Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Page of Swords. What are the mutual energies? Six of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. These are your cards and signs that could relate it to your person. Pisces with this Moon, Cancer with this Chariot. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Aries Leo Sagittarius with the Seven of Wands, Gemini Libra Aquarius with the Page of Sword. This person towards you, the feelings, what they feel for you, they feel like that you are a more comfortable person. You are a good listener, you are real, you are, this is who you are. Inside and out, you are the one same masterpiece. This is the gut from you and self-love in you. You when when a person enjoy their own company, when a person understand their own mood swings, definitely that person respect others, understand others' feelings, respect others' feelings as well. This is who you are. When you love yourself, you learn love others as well and respect other person's personality and you know their humanity you know a person when they when love when you love yourself it's mean humanity in you this is the feel for you you are real you never wear a mask this is who you are and some kind of fears in them this person is insecure because feared fear of you the the positivity but why are they afraid of you why they fear because they really don't they are afraid what if you remove them from your life because you push them away they get scared of this this side when you stand up for yourself when you resist this person when you push this person away and this person really wants to chase you and want to start out things whatever happened between you two they want to start it out with the chariot card this this person really wants to chase you this person really want to you know grab you but you are pushing this person away and with this moon card afraid and scared but these fears and scared because you are pushing them away they really don't want to feel that what if they lost you and you are yes you are somehow pushing this person away and this person feel like that you are this is who you are if you say it you mean it and the reason scared now I find out third person it's someone maybe friend someone from your friend family a third person this person that's why the reason of their the way they are insecure and they are feared afraid of you because what if you have someone else in your life when if you, if you got someone else in your life and with this nine of cups definitely this person is you know dreaming this is some kind of dreams in you you are satisfied on your ground and your person, like this third party, is definitely keeping you in in your, their imaginations and dreaming about you. Also, there is some kind of, you know, the imagination and fantasy kind of connection between you two. And roller coaster, it's a complete new thing for you. Ups and down. Something is changing, something is ups and down, but it's in your favor. You are overall satisfied with this nine of cups. And with this three of cups, definitely, definitely something about your third party the friends and family there a person is involving with you and you are just like dreaming about this person this person dreaming about you 
entirely it's about you and your third party it's not about but about this person you can feel that this person is spying on you this person is collecting information this person is keeping an eye on you as i remember from the previous reading yes this person is spying on you they want to know what is actually happening in your life and the happening is this right now it's in your brain in your fantasies this person third party someone you know the more than you know one or two person involving your life and this person is curiosity some of your ex is definitely curiosity and curious for your recent uh, activities and you are beneficial overall you are beneficial for them you are emotionally a really kind and nice person if someone you know uh, drop two ears uh, tears in front of you you just ready to give anything to that person they take advantage of your generosity and your kind soft heart you easily melt if someone you know shed some tears you easily uh, melt and they want to you know take take advantage of your this kindness and you are stable person you want stability in your life you always you know honesty that you, sh you offer let's see what else we have for you what else we have for you what else we have for you and we are having here the word three of wands hierophant you feel this person's feel this person first of all really scared of losing you they really don't want to lose you they want to grab you they want to chase you they want to hold you they are because you are the beneficial for them you are always you know the most comfortable person for them and you are impact divine a whole complete package of kindness love generosity this person really don't want really never ever gonna give up on you your persons never ever never give up on you because of a lot of these beautiful qualities it's not just one uh, person i'm every uh, the list anyone that concludes in this your person's list never ever gonna give up on you because you are a divine and something complete with this person and something new began with this person and with this three of wands you want to travel first of all you are analyzing everyone from distance and you want to you know you are seeing them you are analyzing them you are making plans you are making strategies about that and commitment and marriage is required commitment some in some cases maybe you looking for you know the guideline but i think it's about marriage engagement you looking for marriage and engagement it's a big thing for you upcoming days it's a huge thing for you with this hierophant card marriage and commitment let's see what else we have for you scorpio what else we have for scorpio and we are having here ten of pentacles nine of sword and the world as i told you marriage commitment family sharing roots and traditions you know visit each other family beautiful thing you know marriage and the each other's family something is you know giving when you are when it's when you are ready nine of sword usually we you know take it as someone is restless thinking about what possibilities in depression in fears yes you are a little bit restless and in fears and anxieties you thinking about the worst possibility what if this happen turn into like that what if this not turn into good way so that kind of fears in you about family traditions marriage fears in you depression and anxiety in you it's mean yes you want that for you when you we are afraid of something it's mean we want that for uh, ourselves but we are little we are just stuck in our fears need to break through from this uh, you know fears you know life is a risk in order would we we should take risk once in our life and the world card is telling you it's going to be fine it's a joy you should do that everyone should do once in their life you should get married you know the family traditions it's 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 a complete it's a cycle it's it's a life cycle so it's it's give you joy it's give you uh, you know happiness so you should go with that and you are a impact and divine person with this world card potential complete perfect partner let's see what else we have for you you have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involve helping teaching or parenting children 
amazing message from you and just relevant one let's see what advice messages stop blaming yourself it's destiny heal stop making bad choices work for your success these are few advice messages in the end and the summary of your reading is this person scared you're pushing them away and you are pushing them away and they are afraid of losing you. What if they lost you for forever? And you are busy with your third party. And you know they are spying on you. But you are in some kind of anxieties and depression in you about this marriage and commitment thing. But uh, you are a whole divine impact person. And some one of uh, your person is afraid of losing you. These are, these are a few summaries of your readings. Hope this helpful for you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.